Mortal Kombat 2 production is going to stop filming soon. Because of the SAG AFRA strike, which I understand completely, but... MK2 getting delayed? Maybe. What's up? It's your boy Dynasty back again with another Mortal Kombat 2 update because... I gotta talk about this. Uh, <laughs> seems like the movie might get delayed. For better or worse, it might get delayed. I... I'm sorry. I have to be the bearer of bad news here. I hate to have to talk about this, but... This is happening just days after Ed Boon flew to Australia to make seemingly a cameo appearance in the live-action reboot sequel, so... Kind of a bummer, but on the positive side, we got a first look at Noob Saibot and MK2. That's- that's- that's good news. So yeah, got that to unpack today. Ed Boon making his cameo appearance in MK2, a first look at Noob Saibot and the movie is getting delayed. If you guys are excited to hear me talk about this, please take one second and drop a like on the video again. Thank you all for the recent love and support on the channel. You're the best, for real. It really does mean a lot to me. Love you guys. And with that said, let's break down what's going on here with MK2 potentially halting their filming. So, Disgusting Film tweeted this out a couple hours ago. It says, Gladiator 2 and MK2 have begun preparations to halt filming as the SAG AFRA strike looks to begin. Essentially, if you don't know what's going on, uh, the actors in Hollywood are on strike because they want better rights, they want better pay, they want to be protected from artificial intelligence in the future, which makes a bunch of sense. It's been ongoing for a long time now, and now it's just kind of making effect. Now, if you click on the Variety article, it doesn't really say much. This is like the only excerpt about Mortal Kombat 2. It says other major international shoots set to pause production due to the actor's strike include Paul Mescal and Pedro Pascal starring Gladiator 2 movie, which was filming in Morocco, and martial arts sequel Mortal Kombat 2, which was filming in Australia. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, just says that they're gonna stop filming soon because, again, the actor's strike, which I fully support completely, but. Doesn't mean I'm not slightly disappointed to hear that this is happening. Not even two days after Ed Boon arrives in Australia for his cameo appearance. Cameo appearance, what am I talking about? So a couple days ago, Boon came out on the 11th and said, Speaking of cameos, it attached this photo of Australia. So, I think we can put two and two together. Then shortly after that, he went on to say 14 plus hours. Time to watch Avengers Endgame five times in a row. Then he said good day, then he changed his profile name to Ed Boon Down Under. So you can kind of see how hype this has been lately the past couple days. This was so cool to see. He actually took a photo of Shang Tsung, Sub-Zero, and Cole Young here. This is amazing. This was so cool to see Ed Boon with the actors from the first movie a couple years ago. To know that Ed Boon is actually on set for filming. It's been a great, like I said, like day and a half, two days, but with this whole actor situation, the strike, it's such a bittersweet feeling because I just hope that his cameo appearance got filmed before they halted production of the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, here's uh, Johnny. That, that's what Boone said, yeah. First look at Ed Boone with Johnny Cage at MK2. In case you were still wondering if Josh Lawson's Kano would be an MK2 for some reason, Here's confirmation that he's gonna be an MK2. Boone came out and said, so who thinks Kano is gonna steal the show again in MK2? Todd Garner tweeting out a bunch of Mortal Kombat 2 content lately with production starting as well. Check this out, MK2, Ed Boone, MK2, Todd Garner, producer. So, Boone's even got his own plaque on Windows. It's pretty legit for the co-creator Mortal Kombat, I'd say. Here's Boone of Arsonia Blade, again was so cool to see Ed Boon sharing all these photos over the last two days or so, day and a half. It's been great, but the recent news has just been so bittersweet. When he thought I couldn't get more hyped, Ed Boon of Shang Tsung right here. I just hope that it's not just these two days and then filming halts, but that seems to be the case. I hope I'm wrong. I hope everything being reported is wrong, but... To know Boon just got there, and two days later, they're halting filming is... Just, it's... what? I can't compute that. I feel so bad. 
Todd Garner tweeted this out a couple of days ago. I thought this was cool. This was Ed Boon's director's chair. MK2, Ed Boon, legend. I hope he can take this home with him. I don't know how he get that on a flight, but where there's a will, there's a way, because that looks sick. I love that. I love that a lot. Shout out to Todd Garner having Boon here to actually watch production. Even if it's only two days, an attempt was made. You, you gotta give them credit for trying to make MK2 better than the first film. They got the man himself there. Speaking of Todd Garner, he came out and posted this right here. Johnny Cage, Quantum Commando, of course, this being a fictional movie that our MK live action Johnny starred in. Always love these. Quantum Commando. <laughs> this Photoshop on the right side actually looks pretty legit. This is kind of cool. Todd Garner just says goat, but I see two goats here. Again, it's been so wholesome lately seeing the cast and crew taking photos of Ed, and to know that it only lasted a couple days is just such a bummer if they really do stop the shooting. I'm gonna be really sad. I'm gonna be so sad. It finally happened, but then it's over just like that. Look at the props in the background. This looks cool. I'm gonna miss seeing all of these teases on the timeline from Todd Garner because Again, if they're not shooting, we're not gonna get cool behind the scenes looks at things like this. And it seemed like every other day we were getting teases of production and it just breaks my heart. Like, look how cool this is. Look how cool this is. This is dope. This is dope behind the scenes content that I'll be missing on my timeline, on my feed. So I hope this strike doesn't last too long, but there is literally no telling how long it's gonna last and what it's gonna affect but it's gonna affect not even just MK2, it's affecting pretty much everything when it comes to TV shows, movies, from here all the way to the end of the year. So we'll have to just wait and see what happens. And in case you were wondering what exactly this Ed Boon cameo appearance would be, Todd Garner asked Boone a few days ago for his mask size. So is Ed Boone going to be a ninja in MK2? Will his cameo be him as Scorpion? <laughs> Will he say get over here at least one time? I don't know, but this right here got me so hyped. Maybe Boone will be a ninja in his cameo appearance. But you know what else is awesome to see was this right here. Lewis Tan, who plays Cole Young in the movie, said guaranteed violence and attached himself this picture of Cole Young and Joe Taslam's Sub-Zero turned noob cybot. If this does not get you hyped, there's something wrong with you. Look at this amazing costume. Definitely some slight alterations from the Mortal Kombat 1 Sub-Zero. The very obvious one is the costume's not blue, it's black. But look at these stitchings here on the shoulder right here. This reminds me so much of like Mortal Kombat 11 Noob Saibal vibes for Bihan. These gauntlets on his wrist are still the exact same, but they're black this time. And everything's just obviously black, it's not blue. The straps right here on his boots. It looks so sick. Obviously, Cole Young still looks like Cole Young of old. Uh, smoke confirmed. This is a joke. Do not take me serious. Uh, but yeah, this looks amazing. The uh, the straps here on his arm as well. This new Cybot costume, I'm sure, is going to look really cool once we get to see what the mask looks like. With the mask and maybe um, a coat or something? I don't know. We'll have to see how this unfolds. But so far, based on what we're seeing... This version of Noob Saibot will look amazing, and just to see him chilling next to the no smoking sign is... It's pretty, it's pretty funny. It's pretty based, honestly. Say what you will about Louis Tan, but that's pretty based, man. Like, no smoking. <laughs> oh, Australia. Never change. So yeah, there you go. Our first look at Noob Saibot and MK2, right here. Breaking the rules, like Bihan does. It's a bad guy. So there you go, that's all I got for you all today. Again, according to Variety, Mortal Kombat 2 is preparing to stop filming and hopefully it happened after Ed Boon's cameo was filmed because if he didn't even get a chance to film his cameo, I can't imagine how upset he would be and disappointed because again, he had to do like a 14 hour flight to get there. He's been there for like a day and a half and this happens. So it's horrible timing. Boon, I doubt you watched this, but I'm manifesting positive stuff in your life. I would be so mad to know that I finally get to Australia, then the filming stops. Like, I don't know how much they filmed already. They seem to be, have been filming for like maybe three weeks already, two and a half weeks. So a lot could get done in that time, but clearly they're not done, right? 
We'll see how it affects the actual release of MK2. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I have a link to this full article down below. What do you think of Ed Boon making a cameo appearance in MK2? Are you going to miss all the teases if they do, in fact, stop filming? Somebody tell us if they're stopping or not. Is this clickbait? I don't know. But anyways, that's what I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, please take one second, drop a like on it, subscribe to some more MK content like this on the channel. Till next time, been your host, Ben Dynasty. You guys, please take care, stay safe. I wish I had some MK1 news to share with you, but Boone's in Australia, so that's, yeah. We'll have to just see what happens. I love you guys. Thank you for everything.